So today we're going to be doing a unit review on this Frieza. Okay, um, he comes out during the ninth year anniversary. And he is a free-to-play unit that gets his EZA in the EZA area, if I remember correctly. Um, this guy is, uh, is he worth running as a final option? Probably not, because he is one of these characters that does have to build up his attack and defense each attack before him. Does he have additional super attack chance? Yes, he does. Um, wait, what? Oh, okay. I was about to say, he has additional super attack chance when his HP is above the HP threshold, and if you're facing two or more enemies, he does a guarantee super. All right, so that definitely helps him build up his attack and defense. He also has additional attack and defense buff and precise enemy super attacks when going up against a pure or or not hybrid Saiyans, excuse me, pure Saiyans or movie heroes category enemy. Um, let's go and talk about this freeze. I'm pretty much already gone over just about enti his entire kit. His kit is not really that much to talk about. Okay, so immediate containment freeze of first form. Um, it, is this guy worthy of? Uh, first form Frieza. I mean, look at his skin. His skin is not even fully developed. I mean, I don't know. Okay, so his leader skill. Um, are we gonna talk about his pre EZA? I mean, it's a, almost a nothing burger to talk about his pre his pre EZA. So if you guys don't mind, we're gonna completely skip over this, considering the fact that he does get his EZA literally. What's that? Ten days later, just about 11, 10, 11 days later. Can I do math? Eleven days later. Come on, damn. And then on global, of course, he gets his easy a bit later. All right, so uh, we're skipping over his pre easy a because it's pretty much ass. No one is running his pre easy a. Even his post easy a is probably not even worth running because super bosses. I mean, you take a look at super bosses. We can pretty much build the team off of Cell Max's back. Uh, we have Broly one, Goku Black. If you want to squeeze him in too? You do have this Frieza as three. Cell Max is the core. You have Jiren. You have LR Tech Jiren. You have uh, who else? You have LR Tech Zamasu. You have Broly Chile and Lemo. Love that unit personally, but you know, some people would think otherwise. Can't really hate it though, because if they don't dodge, they do get turned into a pack if they don't get enough orbs. Um, what other options do you got? You got Topo, you got STR uh, Dispo. Wait, where is he? He's not, he's not on here? Whatever. Kefla's uh, um, on here. Um, does, does Dispo deserve to be on here? Whatever. It's not really a big deal. Uh, anyways, back on over to this guy to see what he's doing. So, Zuda skill, post easy, of course, is Super Boss 3 key in 77% of the stats, or in type 3 key in 50% of the stats. So, of course, it's one of these easy area leader skills. You're not using it anywhere outside of that. His super attack, that being the death beam extreme, of course, because he's a post easy unit. 50% attack and defense one turn while doing supreme damage to enemy. Nice, he's getting 50% attack and defense one turn. More so, the defense is more important considering the fact that he is a free to play unit that you're going to go ahead and build full dodge on, right? Because look at the stats post easy guys you're not building them full additional no 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 as a person who loves offense i would never put full off pull a full offensive build on a free-to-play unit of this caliber anyways going back on over to his kit uh all right so he starts out with two key and 100 percent attack and defense at the start of turn cool and he builds up 25 percent attack and defense with each attack form up to 100 percent. so realistically he could be sitting at a uh, start of turn with two key and 200 percent attack and defense but granted you do have to do four attacks for him to build up immediately and his buff is to super boss is giving two key and 30 percent defense let me tell you guys this for free we go back on over here there is almost no reason to run this guy granted you pulled this guy and i'm pretty certain that you guys have done those uh, ticket summons for the little step up to to uh, um, get to that free LR and you have pulled this guy don't tell me you haven't because I'm very certain you have this guy far and away shits on this guy so there's no reason to have this guy on the team when this guy is superseding him just outright better than him we all know this of course uh, a caveman can do it <laughs> Uh, anyways, back on over to his card, he launches a additional attack that has a 50% chance to come a super attack when his HP, well, when the team's HP is 50% or more, and if he's facing two or more enemies, which I don't know when you're ever going to be facing two or more enemies, maybe in battle road or for whatever reason on some specific content, he does a guarantee super, which could help him out, I guess, um, considering the fact that he's getting 50% attack and defense one turn, if he does do this triple super, um, then cool. Sorry guys, uh, plane flew over my place, and, uh, it... I don't know, but we're just going to leave it at that. It was just one of those those jets that just flew over my place and it just sounded like, uh, just sounded so loud. So, anyways, he gets an additional 50% attack defense as well as the foreseeing enemy super attacks when going up against a pure Saiyans or movie bosses. Movie bosses, oh my god, I'm not cutting that out. A movie heroes category enemy. So, uh... Um, add up all the stats, he gets 50% attack defense right over here, he gets up to, uh, 
200% attack and defense over here combined with two key, as well as additional two key and 30% defense to uh, Super Boss, which of course he's going to have that for himself because he's not self excluded. Um, uh, with all that being said, um, it's cool that he does have additional super attack chances as well as a guaranteed super built into him to help him further build up his attack and defense within that same turn. But outside of that, there is almost no reason to run this guy. Granted, you did pull this guy. No reason. There's no reason. There's no reason. Even if you didn't pull this guy, I'll argue there's still no reason. Um, super bosses, uh, it's like, it's, no, no, we're not, we're not running this Frieza. No, not even as a six option. Are we getting away with him? No, no, no. Is this guy tanking normals? We don't want to find out. We don't. No. So that's about it. Yeah. His problem is pretty much is, uh, um, I feel like they should just give him dodge. Just give him like a 50% chance to dodge. That's it. Yeah. Uh, instead of this foreseeing super attacks, probably give him a 50% 50, 50 chance to dodge. I love this ability for seeing enemy super attacks. It's one, it's one of the strongest abilities in Dokkan, personally. Of course, I still think dodge is way stronger than this. Um, I'd like to say, um, executive decision, change that to a 50% chance to dodge, and we're golden. That's it. That's all we really have to do. Um, yeah. Yeah, I can't really expect too much of this freezer, right? So, uh, the 200% of these skills that he's on, he is not even on bro. Ah, 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 ah. Another reason you are not running this goddamn Frieza on super bosses, even though he wants to support super bosses, he's not even on either of these super boss 200% leader skills. <laughs> he's on Ginyu's, Turles, Frieza's, and Metal Cooler's 200% leader skills. Straight ass. Come on, man. Four 200% leader skills, you are not running him on. Not even this guy, because he's not a super boss. He's not a super boss. He's not a super boss. And he's not a super boss. The main reason you're running him is for a scouter and a support. Yes? <laughs> but he's not supporting any of these guys. All right. Best of partners are practically fodder. This guy's ass. This guy's ass. This guy's ass. Uh, let's see. Um, he's ass. Um, but he might have an easy A on the horizon. He might have an easy on the horizon. Same with you. Same with you. Um, I mean, yeah, let's run him right next to this guy. No. So that's about it. Uh, Frieza. Um, he's booty butt cheeks, not really all that great. Um, just you're running him for support and a scouter. But even if then they should have swapped this scouter for a 50% chance to dodge. And that's it. Pretty pat. Link set is strongest clan in space, because I forgot to read it. Strongest clan in space, universe the most malevolent, Frieza's army, Thirst of Conquest, Prodigies, Fear and Faith, and Shadow the Limit. Could we could have squeezed big bad bosses in there? Would have helped them out, but even if then you're still not running him, even if he had big bad bosses. Categories, Wicked Bloodline, uh, Terrifying Conquerors, Inhuman Deeds, Space Shopping Warriors, Gifted Warriors, Planetary Destruction, and Super Bosses. Funny, he wants to support Super Bosses, but he's not on any of these Super Bosses 200% leader skills. I appreciate you guys watching. You guys are the best. Join the point for seven Discord server. The link is down below in the description for you guys to join today. And I'll catch you guys next time. Again, I love you all. Peace.